fun. <laughs> Driving in Poland. <laughs> we Crazy. just landed and the first thing that we did, we picked a car and off we are on a road trip towards a what's so called town of Olsit Olstin or something like that. I have no idea. But um, it should take around a few hours. We have actually six hours before check-in. So we take it slow and we road trip. We stop for lunch and yeah, different pit stops and so on. And we'll bring you along. I don't even know how fast I can drive on this road. Don't no drive sign. fast. That's an easier solution. was delicious it was perfect to fill up our bellies total of lunch plus coffee 80 kroner per person not too bad and now we're just gonna check out a little bit the town here and then heading back to the car having some Polish conversation Golden Gate Bridge, you guys. Look at those trees, you guys. We so thought odd. the first we, we saw, we thought were bird nests. But they're actually the way that they are uh, coming hey, back I, I to life after to winter. No, 24 it's, kilometer it's more. Austin. No, I know straight. Hello. Welcome to Hotel Marina Club in Olstein, or however it's called the town. Yeah, we just arrived, we got a complimentary Prosecco and the room looks super lovely so far. We have a very very nice lake view over there. And Minta made me notice that they also left us a little present because today is Valentine's Wait, are you opening it now? Yeah, why? I want to open it. No, I don't <laughs> Okay, let's see what it is. Heart biscuits. Oh, I thought it was chocolate first. That would have been sad. <laughs> I hoped it was chocolate actually. Because I could not have eaten that. But this looks lovely. Such a nice thought. I like the minimal setting and the neutral tones of this room. I don't know how to film, Mother. Huh? I don't know how to film. Wow, the room! That nice... Uh, and here we have like a wardrobe area. <coughs> so before hitting the pool and the spa and relax we thought that we were gonna have a little walk in the surrounding just to see the hotel from all the perspective this is outside it's so cold but it's worth it it looks so peaceful the lake i want to go close <laughs> down to the spa we are gonna leave all the cameras and uh, all the shazam here i will just bring my phone to show a few small things about how the spa looks like i'm starting to get so tired of waking up at 4 a.m this morning so hey, wakey, some wakey. pool time is gonna be like needed and some sauna and some outdoor pool to waken up and i want to play bowling later so after dinner maybe 
or before dinner. We'll see. It depends on how long it takes us. And a drink? After dinner, I want to see a bar. We have a lot of plans <laughs> for tonight. I like it. And maybe play some pool. Okay. <laughs> Let's go now. Money get to see. pre-drink, pre-dinner drink in the lounge with this uh, sort of uh, fireplace where it's only candles inside though. Uh, this hotel, including the dinner and including the breakfast for tomorrow, I think it costs like 150 euros between the two of us. So like 70 euros each. With the pool included, all the saunas, there was a lot of different saunas and a steam room. Um, so very convenient indeed. Are you enjoying? <laughs> Great. Good morning everyone! Um, I'm sorry if yesterday we suddenly disappeared but the thing is I was dead, like I collapsed in bed. Uh, we were up from 4 a.m. so I wasn't able to catch up with the, and keep up with the filming. Um, but I thought that I will talk a little bit about what happened at dinner yesterday because I'm not sure if the clips that we shoot they were clear to understand. Uh, if the audio was good and so on but yeah we went for dinner and the people here they speak English but they always struggle a little bit so they have more of like a basic English so we always get the message but not really 100% so it was a little bit hard to understand where was the dinner which was the menu and we knew that they had a special St. Valentine's menu that it got offered to us as quick as we arrived they gave us this uh, menu and all what we knew is that we had to pay a little bit more for this money. So we're like, okay, no problem. If we like it, we might go for it. Uh, because the dinner is included in our package. Uh, none of the menus, neither the basic one or the St. Valentine, is in English. So we started with the St. Valentine, me and Vincent, to, with Google Translate. Uh, every single part of the menu so it took quite some time for us to translate it and we're like okay we don't, can't be bothered to translate the whole basic menu that is super long let's just go for the St. Valentine one even because it sounded very tempting like very interesting um, things in each course uh, and there were two different menus for St. Valentine so we were like oh this is more fish and this is more meat we can pick which one we want and then when the waiter comes she tells us, no, this is uh, fish for women and uh, meat for men, and it cannot be changed. And we're like, okay, what if he likes the fish? Because Vincent kind of liked the fish menu. No, he needs to take the meat. So we're like, okay, but it can be that maybe... Plus, if one of us wanted the Valentine's menu, we were both forced yeah. to take it. No, but okay, that I kind of understand. But the point of this is that we felt that it was a little bit of a sexist thing. Uh, it can be that maybe as there is this a bit uh, miscommunication, there were options of not having it in that way, but we didn't express ourselves properly or the waiter didn't express herself properly. But if it is really like that, we were like, okay, so on the base of what the women has to eat all the delicate flavor, the fish, lime, uh, vanilla, and the man had all the meat, the Jack Daniel <laughs> dessert, and um, you can leave it by my bag there. There, um, yeah. there, thank you. So that was an interesting experience, and we thought like if something like that will happen in Sweden, <laughs> it will be like a revolution or something. Uh, plus, the food was really, really bad. And I mean, we are not posh. Not really, 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 really. No, the thing is, um, let me get to the point. Like, we are not posh with those things. We usually appreciate food. We are like food lovers. 
But if in the description they write something like, let's say, simple example, Vincent main course, it was supposed to have like a gorgonzola sauce. There was nothing that tasted like gorgonzola in that course. My dessert, it was supposed to be a vanilla perfect with the yuzu sauce and uh, almond uh, crouton or something like this. And it was a vanilla ice cream with meringue and a sort of digestive biscuit made of havre. How do you say in English havre? Oat. Oat. So there was no sign of yuzu, there was no sign of everything that was in the description of the menu. So that was a little bit disappointing. But now we're going to breakfast, which hopefully is going to be tastier than the dinner. I'm sure it will. And then we are off to Gdansk. And that's going to be a new video. Um, so stay tuned for that tomorrow or whenever I will manage to put up the next video. And I hope you enjoyed our little uh, road trip in... Uh, Poland and uh, let us know what do you think have you ever been to Poland and is this experience that we had with the dinner like is it like a regular thing or is it something that it was special because it was some Valentine what do you guys think uh, thank you for watching and see you next time bye Vincent